Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so in this video, let's talk about how to display output or basically stuff on the screen, right? Before that, in the last video, I mentioned this is the interactions pane, right? So it basically allows you to type in lines of code to just simply test it out. So you can basically type in one plus one, and it waits. For, it basically processes your line, waits for you to type in another line. So that's how the interactions pane. It's more like an interaction. I talk, you give me a response. I talk again, you give, you give me a response. This is what's called the script pane, uh, sorry, uh, or basically script mode, right? Script mode, where you have to finish typing all your, your lines of code before you then run all of them at once. So this is line, uh, you know, it's like a response mode and this is basically script mode. You type in all your code, it runs it, and it gives you a, resp a response. So up to now, we haven't written a full Python program yet, right? In this video, we're going to talk about displaying outputs on the, on the screen. But before that, let's um, well, actually, actually let's let's just talk, let's talk about how to display output first, and then we'll talk about saving our program and then running it. Okay, okay. So you can basically write a, a line in Python or basically um, code in Python that allows you to display whatever you want to display on the screen, and you can do that with what's called a print function. So I'm just going to type in the word print. Okay, so we are definitely going to cover functions, but I just wanted you to see um, this, okay, how to display items, because we're going to display some you know, basic items as we move on. So we'll get into functions, but basically what, fu what a function is, is basically one or more lines of code, one or more lines of Python code that's grouped together and, and wrapped up and given a name. Okay, so anytime that name is used over here, anytime that name is used, the actual term for it is anytime that name is called, okay, the series of lines of code, okay, one, the, the one or more lines of code is basically executed. It's, it's run, okay. So the people who, you know, create, created the Python language have written this print function, okay, Meaning they've written that you know there's one or more lines of code that basically takes whatever you want to display on a screen and then displays it on the screen. Now with functions, like I said, we'll get into the uh, the, the, uh, the details, but you can you can we can we as users or as pro sorry, as programmers we can go ahead and define our own functions, right? So with this print function, there are predefined functions, meaning there are functions that came with the Python um, language. The people who developed the Python language, you know, they created so many functions for us to use, right? So that we don't have to do it again. But certainly we can create our own functions and customize it however we want. So this print function was developed by the people who, who created the Python language. And it basically takes in whatever you want to display on the screen. So I'm going to type in some parentheses here and I'll talk about what, what it means. And in double quotations, I'm going to I'm going to give this print function a string. Now, what is a string? A string is basically a, a characters joined together. It's what you think of as a sentence in English, but in, in programming, in, in programming, it's called a string. So I can say something like, "This is my first program." So, th what this pr print function does is it takes in anything you want to display on the screen and then displays it. So, in this case, I want to display this. Excluding the double quotation marks, the opening double quotation marks and the closing double quotation marks. Why? Because the opening double quotation and the closing double quotation marks, they mark the beginning and end of what you want to display on the screen. So, so in this case, all right, the actual term for what you give this print function is called an, an argument. Now, don't worry too much about the details. We'll get into functions, but I just want you to understand this so that when we're talking, you, you know, you can understand it. So this is called an argument. I'm given this print function an argument so that it can display it on the screen. Now the process of using the print, the process of using the name of the function, is what's called calling the function. So in other words, I am calling the print function. Okay, over here, I'm calling the print function, and also the process of you given this print function an argument, or basically the stuff I want to be displayed, is called passing in, okay, but I'm, so I'm basically passing in an argument. So how I would describe it in, in basic terms would be, oh, I'm using this print function, 
giving it the string this is my first program and then you know basically it's going to display it but a technical way to, to describe it is this I am calling this print function passing in the this is a, this is my first program argument okay and basically it's going to be uh, displayed so first of all let me just uh, make a copy over here a copy of the same line and I'm going to type it in the interactions pane now you know the interactions pane is just a quick way to just test um, simple lines of code right so print this is my first program when I hit hit enter we can see that it displayed it to us this is my first program now let's try the script mode basically it we have to finish writing all our lines of code and then it will go ahead and um, run the run the run the code and then run our program for us so this is my code I'm going to use a comments remember we talked about comments in the previous video comments starts with a pound sign and say this is the print function right it takes in sorry typing is bad an argument and prints or well, let's say and displays the argument now I don't know if I mentioned I think I mentioned it in a previous video that this line over here is a guideline for us to type 80 characters on a line so in Python it's a it's a good standard although you can exceed it but it's a good standard to always restrict 80 characters on a line so we're going to do that so this line is my guideline all right, so this is the print function. It takes in an argument, in an argument, and displays the argument. I'm going to go on the next line. I need to make it a comment too, so I'm going to proceed it with a pound sign and say, and continue and say, and displays, and displays it. Okay, the white space doesn't matter. We'll talk more about that in a, in a, in a, in a future, in future videos. So the way I run this same program that I've run here in Interaction Spain is the way I write, I run this program in script mode is by first saving the file alright so I'm going to go ahead and command s or you can just do file and save I, I created a deck uh, sorry a folder on the desktop so I'm going to go there let me just expand this so on the desktop over here I have a folder called learn Python so I'm going to save this file I'm going to call it you can call it anything but I'm going to call it learn oh, I'll, I'll say first program I'm going to write it just this way with no space in between them and then this is important the extension dot py or dot pi you have to save it with this extension when you do that then you save this program or this file or you've told your, your computer that this file contains Python code so when you are opening it opening it open it as a Python um, as, a, as a Python file so you make sure you end your, your file name with the extension dot pi I'm going to save it here so by by doing this now we, we can run it you know in this format right so the way you run it is by clicking on this ladybug over here so when you do that it's going to first of all check to see if there are any errors or any mistakes and if there are no mistakes it's going to run it and when I so I'm going to I'm going to click it but the thing is this is the Python Python shell in our interactions pane our output is displayed right here but when I click on the bug over here all right the, the ladybug over here it's going to show us the output here in the bug debug io so just know the difference so even if i switch to python shell and i click on the debug or the the, the ladybug icon to run it it switches to the debug and the, the io and shows me the result there this is my first program all right so it will display anything you give it i can change this to anything i can change it to um, another line run it again and I can see another line I can change it to anything we're just basically taking anything you give it which is really called an argument and then display it now this is what's called a string I said a string is basically a um, series of characters just joined together um, and there's a reason why there's, um, there's there, there are double quotations around it basically strings go with double quotations or actually single quotations too they work the same so this will work the same so let's see an, another line updated run it and we can see another line updated over here so there's a, re there's a reason why there are quotations that's because this is a string and we'll talk more about the different types of data in future videos but for now I just wanted you to see how the print function works we'll talk more about functions 
the reason why I'm doing this is, be, is because we're going to be printing basic basic stuff as we move on, basic data as we move on. So I wanted you to see this, and we'll talk more about functions. All right. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.